the Polish company Helicon Tex has proven itself time and time again to be a producer of high quality outdoor gear at an affordable price for most people. One really good example is this Woodsman's Anorak. If you're interested in hearing more about this garment, Keep watching. Before we get started, I just want to thank the Canadian company On Duty Equipment for sending out the Woodsman's Anorak so that I could share it with you. So what I'll do is back away from the camera. I want to talk about the sizing and fit of this Anorak. I'll step in a little closer. I'll show you the key features, but then I'm going to take the jacket off, lay it down on the table so we can focus in on those features for a little bit more detail. All right, let's get started by talking about the fit and sizing of this jacket because I think this is going to be critically important to anyone who's considering purchasing one for themselves. Now, I am 5 foot 10. I weigh between 185 and 190 pounds. I wear a size large shirt, size large jacket. But in order to get something to fit me, I had to order an extra large in the Woodsman's Anorak. They do run small. Now, to the credit of on-duty equipment and Helicon Techs, they do provide a sizing chart with measurements that you really should take a look at before ordering ordering the jacket for yourself. And this is what allowed me to determine that I needed to go up at least one size. Now, what I want to do is just give you a 360 degree turn to give you an idea of how this jacket fits on me. So to begin, we'll just make the turn. Now, while I have my back to you, I think it's worth pointing out that the tail does come down a little lower than the rest of the waist, providing a little bit more coverage in the back. Now, here's the next thing you need to know about the jacket. Where does this fit in terms of my choices for wearing out in the woods? So I see this at best as a three season jacket, more likely a late, a late spring to an early fall jacket. And the reason I say that is not that it's not a good high quality jacket, it certainly is, but its features don't lend itself well to winter use. And I'll explain more about that in a moment. The other thing is even at an extra large sizing, I really can't get anything else under this jacket. All I have right on underneath it right now is a shirt. I can get a fleece or some type of a vest under it. I have tried fleeced shirts or jack shirts over my shirt underneath this, and they really, it starts to bind up on me, especially under the arms. Can you see just how small the armpit room is up here? Now that's not to discredit the jacket and say it's not worth having because what this jacket does, it does very well. I'll explain more about that in a few minutes time. So I just want to point that out that if you were looking for something that you could wear all year long, uh, unless you go to a, a really, really large size jacket, I don't think this is a good choice. And even if you did get one large enough to fit over layers, there are other features of this jacket that don't make it the best choice for winter use. All right, let me start out by giving you the key features of this jacket before I take it off and focus in a little closer. So to begin, pockets, right? Two slash pockets, one on either side. They reach, they're kind of high, they're not down low, but the nice thing about that is if you're wearing a backpack with a waist belt, and I wear ones with a big padded waist belt most of the time, that's going to ride up my hips, but the pockets are going to remain above the backpack or above the waist belt, so I'll still have access to them. So that's a nice feature. They are, well, by the way, all YKK zippers of the highest quality. There is a pouch right up here. It's under this flap. There it is. Okay. This is full width. This is a big pocket right here. And I'm opening it up to show you that there are three smaller uh, slot pockets in the center right in here for smaller items just to help you stay organized and a loop for attaching things like keys or any other small thing maybe your compass too so that you can don't lose it so those are the pockets that's it there's not a lot of pockets on the outside of this jacket let me just come in and show you this velcro on the wrists to snug it down very nicely done very good quality for sure uh, it does have cord locks at the bottom and, and uh, shock cord to bring it in nice and snug cord locks on both sides. This is probably the feature I want to show you that is I found the most beneficial in this jacket and that is a double zipper extending from just about the elbow all the way to the waist. That allows a couple of things for me. One, it makes it much easier for this old man to get this jacket on and off over his arthritic shoulders. So uh, yeah, that's no small thing, honestly. But it also means that I can ventilate this jacket from here all the way down to here and any combination of opening lengths that I want. 
That is a great feature for me to have in a jacket that I'm going to be wearing out, especially in the late spring and in the early fall and any summers that where it starts, you start out in the morning when it's cool and you end up in the afternoon with quite warm temperatures, you're going to want to be able to ventilate your clothing well. So I think that is a super feature on this jacket. Now, of course, there is also the hood. Let me put the hood up. I think you'll still be able to hear me with the, on the microphone once I get the hood up. I wanted to wear this ball cap for a reason because um, I wear a hat most of the time, well, all the time when I'm out in the woods, and often it is a tilly or some other brimmed cap, but I do wear ball caps as well. And with a jacket like this, a ball cap is just fine to wear. Now, I am going to zip her up, so you may have a hard time hearing me, but here's what I want you to see. I want you to see how high it comes up onto my chin. Hopefully you can still hear me inside. I'm going to show you the features about drawing the hood back in a few moments time, but it does have the chin guard right up here, which means you're not going to get your beard caught or you're not going to scrape your chin on the zipper itself. Let me bring that down. All right, I just wanted to make sure you could hear me. So the hood is not only generous and well-sized, but it has a lot of adjustments, meaning it is a well-designed hood. What else can I say about it? So another key feature of the Woodsman's Anorak is the hood and the way that it can be adjusted for a custom fit around your face. So I did show you a moment ago how this could be brought up right up to the top of my chin right here, give me lots of protection around my neck and my chin is not gonna come in contact with the jacket itself. Another thing to point out here is there's lots of room. So if I did wear something underneath or wanted to wear a schmog or, or a buff or something underneath there, it's not going to be tight and constricted around my throat. I really like that about it. But if I want to bring this in tighter around my face to keep the wind and the rain out, to start with there are shock cords and cord locks on each side, which will pull it down tight around my face. I'm trying to give you an example of how this would work. So it starts by doing that. Now, there is one more adjustment on this, which is another nice thing to have, and that is in the back, right here at the center of my head. There's a cord lock here, and what that's doing is pulling it back away from my face. Let me pull that down so you can hear me talk. So that's pulls it back around from away, my, away from my face so that I don't have my vision impaired from the sides as well. So the nice thing here is there's lots of adjustments to get a perfect fit for your head and your face. I wanted to start out by just talking about the materials the jacket is made from. So the primary material in this, in this case, brown, is made from what uh, Halicon Text refers to as Jura Canvas. Now it is a synthetic, however, it is extremely sparkly resistant. I wouldn't call it fireproof, but it's good to know that I can wear this around a fire. It is extremely durable, tear resistant. I've proven that by doing some um, bushwhacking and catching the jacket on things. And, the, you know, it didn't even show a scratch, scratch, let alone a tear or a rip or anything else. So that's the brown. Now, on the back of the jacket, there is a different material known as storm stretch. Now, the storm stretch material is thinner than the Juris Tech, and it has has some stretch, so I'm assuming some lycra in it. It is also a very breathable material, so that's another reason why I said this jacket should not be considered a four season or a winter coat, but primarily a three season jacket is because of this. This jacket is designed to breathe, and you do want your jacket, your hand rack or whatever else it is you're wearing, to be able to breathe if you're going to be wearing it during the spring, summer, and fall, and this jacket is great. And one of the things I really appreciate about this breathable back on it is where I'm when I'm wearing a backpack with or without a frame uh, that is one area that you can get really wet if, it, if you're moving and building up a lot of body heat this material this storm stretch right here fabric this storm stretch fabric really does allow for a lot of ventilation through the back now of course that is also in accordance with the zippers I showed you those a minute ago I just want you to focus in a little bit on them as well this is the bottom of the jacket here when you can see that there is a dome snap across where the zipper goes and that just helps to keep it from opening up unintentionally and it's a double zipper now I'll show you this now as well on the zipper I have attached a little three inches 
piece of uh, type 2 paracord. That just makes it easier for me to reach up and grab the zipper from under my arm when I'm trying to put it on and pull the zipper down. Uh, you may not need it, I do, just for that reach. But the zipper free flows in two directions and that's at the bottom. But at the top, above the armpit, is the other zipper. So you can do a combination of openings at any length that you need to to provide the ventilation you need. This is huge in allowing me to get the jacket on and off, as I mentioned a minute ago. And of course, that is on both sides of it. And while I'm right here, I can also show you the cord locks, as you can see, the bunch or the, the shock cord and cord locks that will pull the waist in and give you a little bit more wind protection. Now, it's important also to know that this Juratec fabric, while, let me get the jacket back in line so you can see it this way, it is not considered waterproof, but I can say that it is highly water resistant. I have worn this out in light showers and I've had it out in a very light snowfall just recently. I wasn't warm, but trust me, like I mentioned, but I was out and it did start to snow and the jacket did not get wet. To touch it, I wouldn't have thought that. It doesn't feel like a waterproof material. It feels like canvas, and it, although it is synthetic, it's a very tough material without question. And it is water resistant, highly water resistant at that. I'm assuming that there's a DWR or durable water repellent coating on the outside of this. How long that will last, I'm not sure, but uh, if it's like any other good piece of clothing, outdoor clothing, it can be reapplied at a later date. Now, here's something else I can show you right now, and of course, which is the Helicon Tex Bushcraft line. This is the little symbol on uh, their Bushcraft line of products. All right, I just want to wrap this video up with a few more comments for the Woodsman's Anorak from Helicon Tex. So, I really do like this jacket. I like the quality of construction, and I have complete confidence in the durability of the materials. I really like that full length zipper. I think I've said that a few times now. I do like that stretch breathable panel on the back, but I just want to point out again, it's because of that and because of the size and fitting that I consider this a three season jacket at best, really late fall or late spring to early fall. So if you're looking for something that is more of a four season or something that you can wear in the winter time, I would suggest you take a look at the Pilgrim Anorak from Helicontex. It is a different jacket by design and I think it's made larger to start with and more heavy duty. I don't have that jacket. I may yet purchase it for myself. If I do, what I'll do is bring it back for review at some point and compare it against this jacket feature to feature so that can help you decide which one it is that you want to purchase. Again, I just want to thank On Duty Equipment of Canada for sending the Woodsman Anorak out to me so that I could share it with you. I'm going to be putting their link in the video description so that you can take a look at this jacket on their website. They have all the complete line of Helicontex products plus a number of other manufacturers as well. So you may well find something that you're interested in there. All right, if you have any comments or questions on the Woodsman's Anorak, then please put them in the, the comment section below. Until next time, get out and explore and take that path less traveled because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.